they're showing in the Small Works exhibition that's opening tomorrow night. This is a new series, and it has not been shown at the gallery before. And I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about the process, because it is different than the process you're using for other uh, uh, work in your practice. Uh, well, this is... Maybe you could just hold it up, so... Sure. This is an extension of, of previous things I've been working on, which had to do with dripping paint, individual drips of paint, um, based on structure in the grid. Um, I also have a series that moves away from the structure in the grid, but still using the individual drip and kind of all over paintings. The first that I mentioned is the color array series that I have. The second is the amalgamation series I have. And that led me into I guess for now what I think of these is, is kind of ribbon paintings because they're constructed of individual strips of paint. Is it, is it oil or acrylic? This is acrylic paint uh -huh. and it's laid down on a smooth surface, generally glass or plastic, in uh, a strip out of a bottle which is a part of other processes that I have and it's a bottle that has multiple colors of paint in it and it sort of squeeze out a line, in this case, since these are 8 by 10, the line is a quarter inch by 10 inches, and once they're on the smooth surface, I let it dry, so kind of a part of these series is, um, you know, I was questioning myself, and um, when I used to study with Vito Acconci, he used to say, what is it that you can do next? after something feels finished, how can you go beyond that next stage? So you'd always say, what can you do next? Can you bend it? Can you twist it? Can you put holes in it? Can you fold it? So for me, the ending process of a painting is usually when the paint dries. So for this, this is the beginning of it. So when I lay down the strips of paint and then dry, that's when I peel them up and then begin to paint. So I begin to assemble them, kind of one strip at a time, overlapping them all the way up and they start to create gradations of color based on the tool that I use that I never clean and just keep adding colors and colors and colors to it. Okay. I think that's that's okay.